Ah, uh, there are so many things to get done by tomorrow. What's the use of all of this if I don't apply this in real life? I don't even know what I'm going to be in the future. Maybe I should do some research since I'm already in my senior year. But nah, I'm too lazy for that. This seems interesting. Welcome to Inspire Indonesia. I'm your host, Salsa Nathania, and in this show, we will hear inspiring stories from college students all across Indonesia. First up, we got Adu Ananda. She's currently in her third year of studying medicine, and she'll be sharing on how to overcome struggles, discovering passion, motivations, and many more. So be ready to take your notes and enjoy the show. Hello everyone, I'm so grateful to have this opportunity here to share with you guys virtually on my journey in choosing a major in college. It all started in my final year of high school. I didn't know what I should take in college and to be honest, it made me hard to get motivated in studying because I don't have a clear goal. So from then on, I decided to set a clear goal to enter a medical school. So when choosing my major, I take into account my passion and one of them is to help people. And I think being a doctor will fulfill those desires. And um, a lot of people warned me that uh, entering a medical school will be hard and there will be lots of challenges. But thankfully with the support of my friends and families, I can pursue those goals. After months of hard work and studying, I finally got accepted to Pilar University's medical program. Um, learning about medicine is known for its challenging curriculum. And while it's true, but I still enjoy every part of it, despite all of the hardships that I've gone through. For those who are still hesitant with their choices, I recommend you to follow your passion and try your hardest. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for now. I wish you all good luck. Bye! Thank you for having me. Wow! Thank you for the inspiring story, Adelia. It was definitely a motivation, especially for the viewers at home that are still wondering what major they should take. Next up, we have a very special guest who is also a student in the Faculty of Music in Pilar University. He received a lot of praises after one of his songs went viral all across social media. I'm sure you're dying to know who it is. We'll find out later after the commercial break. Her story seems so familiar with me. She's struggling in her senior year. However, she got through the struggles, and now she's at her dream university. It's almost like a sign. Maybe God is giving me a sign. What am I thinking? Hey you! Yes, you! Are you confused which college to enroll to? Well, you're in luck because here at Pillar University, we challenge the top students for a chance of getting a 100% scholarship for two full years. If you're interested in that, then look no further. We are proven to be one of the best as last year we made it into the top 10 universities. What's that? How do I sign up? Well, it's easy. You can just hop onto our website pillaruniversity.com and submit your report by signing up or take some tests without report grades. If we take interest upon you, you will be notified and asked to join our interview. Your dreams could only be a click away, so what are you waiting for? Once you step in Pillar University, we will welcome you as a family. Pillar University, where dreams come true. Hello everyone, welcome back to Inspire Indonesia. Before the commercial break, I have told you about the special student in the faculty of music whose song got viral. Without further ado, please welcome Felix Lumban Gaul. Hi, thanks for having me here. So, Felix, 
please tell us about the song that went viral on social media and what inspired you to write it. Well, actually this is uh, an assignment for my university. Uh, after working on it for a while, I was so pleased on how it turned out. So I uploaded it on YouTube uh, without expecting a lot of people watching it. Uh, much to my surprise, uh, I got the attention of my favorite singer. Uh, he shared it on his Instagram and all of a uh, sudden the video has 800,000 views. That is so amazing. Can you show us the process of writing and recording of the song? Sure. Every musician has different ways to write, but this is how I personally write. First of all, find the inspiration for the song. List all of the emotions, places, colors, uh, and feelings related to this topic. Uh, second, uh, write your lyric. A tip from me, uh, you can start writing from the chorus because it is the heart of the song. Uh, from there, you can develop the verses, the chorus, and bridge. Uh, after that, make the chord progression for the song. You can use uh, piano, guitar, or other instrument. I personally uh, like guitar, as you can probably guess. Then make the melody for the lyric. Uh, just like before, uh, I start with the chorus, then later with the verse, pre-chorus, and the bridge. In this step, I usually edit uh, some of the lyrics to better suit the melody. Mm, next, uh, record the draft uh, of your song. Uh, when recording your draft, uh, don't aim for perfection. Instead, uh, just start recording and you'll eventually know which part you should improve on. Uh, and lastly, we have mixing and mastering. In this process, uh, all of the recorded tracks uh, are combined together and usually some musician at some uh, final touches uh, and the song is finished. For your informative and thorough. Well, I'm sure you have other assignments you need to get done by now, so we won't hold you back any longer. Thank you for sharing with us, Felix. No problem. Bye. Well, that is all for today on Inspire Indonesia. And as always, we hope that this show inspires a lot of students all across Indonesia. I'm your host, Salsa Nathania. See you next week. Wow, I'm so inspired. Now that I know, I need to set a clear goal first and always chase it with something I'm so passionate about.